What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. We're going to focus in on our series preview of the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Today, we're going to do the Boston Bruins and Ottawa Senators. The Bees are 0-4 in the season against Ottawa, or 0-3 and whatever the fuck you want to call it. They've played four games and lost all four. Let's just let's just boil it down to that. Um, obviously, one of their last the last game they did play against Ottawa, they didn't have uh, Brad Marshall in the lineup because he was a bad boy. Um, they did bad things against the Tampa Bay Lightning last week. Um, but Brad, bad Brad will be back for game one up in Canada's capital. And I think you look at this Bruins team and say, you know, why not? Why why can't they take down the Senator squad? And I think part of it, uh, there are a few reasons. Um, you know, Ottawa, I overlooked them too much of the year, even though they were right there. And I was always like, yeah, they're there, but they're not that good. They're They'll fall off, and I think a, a reason why they didn't is a testament to Guy Boucher, who I've been vocally supportive of as an NHL head coach. I thought he got kind of screwed in Tampa, and I said, you know, when he gets another NHL shot, he's going to do some great things, and he, he's done that with uh, with the Senators this season. You know, this team's really bought into his style, and uh, they're reaping the benefits of it. You know, he I think he's the kind of coach that really elevates teams above the sum of its parts, um, so above the sum of their – yeah, I was right, I think. Uh, <laughs> And, I, again, you know, you look at Craig Anderson, what he's done between the pipes all year. Obviously, you know, the, the shoe-in for the Masterton Trophy, you know, with, with what his wife's going through and the fact that he's been able to put together such a successful season and be, you know, the backbone of this team. But everything in Ottawa begins and ends with number 65, Eric Carlson, who was banged up down the stretch. But, you know, it's tough. It, the, the rule in the NBA is, you know, when you're picking series, you know, sometimes because I gamble sometimes, um... Always pick the team as the best player. Obviously, the NHL, it's not as cut and dry. Uh, a lot more factors going to it. Uh, but best player on the ice every day, I think it's going to be Carlson. And Ottawa's going to need that if they want to beat a Bruins team that's kind of built to play in these type of situations. Even though, again, I know the Bruins are winless in the season against the Senators. I think they're combined over 7 against Ottawa and Washington this year. So, uh, well, that was the thing last week when they tried to with that play in the first round. Um, and Kyle Turris, you know, really turned it up and had a nice, kind of quiet 27 goals. I mean, I've never been the biggest Kyle Turris guy in the world. Um, yeah, I thought the way he handled the situation in Phoenix wasn't exactly, you know, great. But, you know, that's uh, one of those situations. Uh, but, you know, we'll see. I think the thing working against the Bruins right now is the injury bug. I mean, you look at how banged up they are on defense. Tory Crew is probably not coming back for the se- during the series. Brandon Carlo's status is undetermined. And they la- the really very likely will be plugging in Charlie McAvoy to play alongside Zdeno Chara in uh, Game 1. That's something to think about because uh, two weeks ago, three weeks ago anyway, uh, Charlie McAvoy was playing NTA hockey at Boston University. Um, so let that one sink in. And, you know, you look what the Bruins have. I mean, they're forward group. They've got a lot of depth up there. You know, they're able to, uh, you know, generate some really good scoring chances. I mean, David Pasternak. I mean, uh, if you just leave, I don't think it's normal to have the kind of obsession I have with David Pasternak. I think I should probably see a shrink or, you know, call my doctor because it's been longer than four hours every time I think about him. Um, but, you know, again, he, he's really a testament to. You know, the, the, the fact that Bruins don't always suck at drafts and developing young, skilled players because 34 goals to a 20-year-old, that's a nice little season. Um, you know, so it would have been even nicer if he had one less point because he finished with 70 on the air. Not really nice. Um, but, you know, again, David Backus was brought here to play in these types of situations. Again, don't love that contract. He'll be, in fact, he'll be 33 next month. Um, it's kind of disheartening. But... You know, he's going to give Ottawa some trouble. You know, he's going to get in there and mix up on the forecheck, give you some physicality. Uh, you know, Patrice Bergeron didn't have the start of the season he wanted to, but there are flashes during the season like, holy shit, he's really doing some great things. Um, and, you know, I think mean, he was one of the NHL leaders in shots on goal, which I know, which is uh, Michael Scott and Wayne Gretzky both said, uh, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So, you know, Drew Stavage has been a nice addition at the deadline. And, uh, you know, I think it's going to be funny. If the Bruins do win this series, I, I think it's going to take a uh, big series from Jimmy Hayes if he gets in the lineup. Can you imagine Jimmy Hayes having, like, two overtime goals in the series? I can see it. Like, it's not it, – like, it's – Jimmy Hayes doing anything productive on the ice. It's tough to see. It, but, like, I can see Jimmy Hayes having two overtime goals in this series 
like I can see myself dating Carrie Underwood. Like I, I know it's not like a, a like a real thing, but I, I, I can envision myself doing it. Um, you know, I don't know if she's into. I mean, I would, say, I would not want to break up that marriage. Um, oh, well, you know, you never know with the Stanley Cup playoffs. All bets are off. Uh, and you know, this is just a. Uh, it's an interesting Bruins team in transition. You guys know how vocal I've been. How they should have blown it up a while ago, but here they are. And uh, you know, they're. Staring down the barrel of a pretty good Ottawa center this season that I don't think is getting the respect it deserves. If any team in the NHL could be the Rodden Dangerfields of the NHL, it would be the Ottawa Senators this season. Because they don't get no respect from anyone, including a lot of national pundits that are picking the Bruins in this uh, in this series. You know, and again, it's kind of looking through this lineup. Um, you know, I... I th there's some talent there, don't get me wrong, but I think so much of this is owed to Guy Boucher. And the uh, job he's done behind the bench all season. I mean, Mike Hoffman and, and Mark Stone. I mean, that, those are pretty assessments of the management staff. How late, you know, they were both, you know, kind of afterthoughts. Have turned out to do some some great things. And uh, you know, we'll see. You know, definitely a situation to keep an eye on is how this Ottawa center team progresses over the next few, uh, even going beyond this season. You know, because uh, they, they've got some decent prospects in the pool. One of them being Colin White. Handle Massachusetts natives, who we could see in the series potentially. I know we played two regular season games, um, and they've already burned the ELC. How funny would it be if uh, Colin White was four checking on Charlie McAvoy? You know, BUBC, not even a month after the college hockey, after their college hockey careers ended. Pretty damn cool if I do say so myself. So now we get to uh, to prediction time, which is always fun. Um, you know, you look at what Ottawa's goaltending is, you know, Craig Anderson, the year he's had, Tuka Rask, who, you know, had his ups and downs this season, but playoff numbers are bad. Um, I, you know, I know if I, if I pick the Bruins, I could call the homer and a hater against the Senators, but I'm telling you, there's something in the water with this Bruins team, and I get that they're 0-4 against Ottawa. I get all conventional wisdom says to pick the Senators, even though no one else is. Um, but I'm, I'm going to take the Boston Bruins in a six-game hard-fought series that I think we'll see. Uh, we'll see the Bruins' young talent really emerge. And again, I, I'm going to do a whole separate piece on McAvoy later today. Um, but I, again, I love that kid. I've watched him play a lot of hockey over the last few years, and uh, the fact he will likely make his NHL debut in Game One of a playoff series. It's pretty damn cool. Anyway, that's all I got in this episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for episodes for the season and beyond. Later, guys.